Hi, I am Sean Campbell, and this is my review for Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. The story for Final Fantasy Type-0 is all about war between nations, started by the invading Milites Empire of the White Tiger Crystal, who invades the nations of Concordia and Lorica, which, after conquering, moves on to the Dominion of Rubrum in Type-0. You play as a group of cadets from Rubrum with magical powers instilled on them from something called Phantoma in order to fight the Empire and change the tides of war. Overall, from the cutscenes to the game itself, Type-0 has the most gruesome story in any Final Fantasy game in the franchise and one of the most adult themed storylines, which I found has some similarities with that of Final Fantasy XII, yet remains its own entity. During the story, Lacy from Final Fantasy XIII do make their appearance and are charged with different focuses depending on their crystals and participate in the events of the war itself. Though often I did get confused due to their involvement and connection with the overall story, though whenever they did show up, things did get a lot more interesting. This is a Final Fantasy game which has a lot going on and it may even take multiple playthroughs and talking to all the different NPCs in order to get the full extent of the story. Although this does add replayability, I do not find it is necessarily a good design for the story of a game as you don't want your players confused by the ending and forced to play through a game multiple times in order to understand the story in its entirety. I myself would much rather replay a game for it being fun and enjoyable experience than forced to play multiple times in order to understand what is going on. As for the graphics, they haven't been improved at least much to what I could tell over the PlayStation Portable version of the game. I found this could have easily been a game released for the previous console generation instead of just current gen, as the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 could easily handle the game, and has a much larger user base currently. The camera also seemed to move around too fast and cause a blurring effect that I found very jarring and caused me to often take breaks from the game. During the cutscenes themselves, I also noticed a number of times the lip syncing was off and was a slight annoyance, but this isn't new to Japanese games in general, though I did expect better lip syncing from Square Enix. The controls for Final Fantasy Type-0 is similar to that of Final Fantasy Crisis Core, except instead of having to navigate menus for abilities and spells, they are mapped to the various buttons on the controller themselves. As for the gameplay itself, the game is divided into a few different types of missions. There are more action RPG based missions where you go in and capture a town from enemy forces and fight mini bosses and a final boss. There are also strategy driven overworld missions where you control one character on the map helping your units retake cities. The gameplay during the RPG sections was good and I enjoyed the combat quite a bit weaving in dodging, attacks, magic, and the occasional summoning spell called Eidolons for the boss battles. Eidolons you control in a similar way to characters and all have their own unique flair and moveset to them which made for some interesting combat as you want to play not only as all the different cadets for their skills and abilities, but also the Eidolons you acquired throughout the game. Each character has their own unique set of skills and abilities that are learned by leveling up, and can be equipped by the player in the menu. All characters can equip the same spells and accessories, but their weapons and skills are character specific. As I progressed through the game, I found I enjoyed playing more as ranged type characters, as overall it was easier to avoid enemy attacks. As for the overworld segments, were designed slightly like an RTS, but didn't seem quite as tactical or akin to RTS for my liking, as it was overly simplistic with very little depth, and the units didn't seem to vary or feel much different in types from one or another, at least for how effective they were in combat. This left me feeling these missions were only there to help drive the story than for any actual focus for the game itself. Overall, 
I give Final Fantasy Type-0 a 3.5 out of 5 stars. As Final Fantasy Type-0 is a good game, but it does have room for improvement. 